What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. <clears throat> so, uh, we come back on Monday today. Very important episode today. Uh, GH is very good right now, man. You almost can't miss a minute. I think the only thing on here that probably some of you guys are interested in is anything going on with Jordan, Portia, and uh, Curtis, man. That's probably like the only thing. <laughs> In the episode that that's really that really didn't even deal with nothing about the serial killer, because uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Elizabeth and why I think she's a suspect now. Um, but yeah, so let's get to the point. Brando uh, had an unfortunate uh, seizure. Uh, he was starting to cough up some blood because uh, he was starting to really cough, and you got to feel bad for Sasha because uh, he was just feeling good uh she she was telling um who was that gladys or nina no nina that uh she was able to sleep good and um you know it's unfortunate that brando i i like i was telling y'all last week man i think brando's about to die um because i feel like if they were going to keep him alive i don't think they'll have him going through a situation where he could die again. So I think that this situation is definitely uh pretty bad. Uh but we'll see. I mean nothing can't close the book on him just yet, but it's not looking good. And it was interesting because early in the episode, uh Sonny uh phoned Dex because there was a guard uh watching Joss but he got spotted by Joss because he was kind of looking like a stalker uh, kind of really staring at Joss and Trina uh, really hard and um, he got found out about so he had to go uh, Dex had kicked him out and then he let Sonny know that he got spotted and when he got off, when he was about to get on phone with Sonny he had asked about Brando and his facial expression was definitely very concerning but I think they're definitely using Dex as a red herring right now. Um, and if y'all know what a red herring is, it's, it's like a misplaced uh, suspect. A uh, suspect that's usually kind of deviating away from who the killer really is so that it can kind of throw you off. And usually shows when they do murder mysteries, they always got like that one guy that they really focus in on doing these murder mysteries and really make you think it's him. They do, they spot all the clues towards him. Like there was the, what was they talking about? The, the keychain or whatever, the noise that it makes. Cause Brandon had, Brando had said that, uh, in, uh, to Jordan. So you had that and it's like, they're really trying to make it seem like it's Dex. So that's why I'm trying not to get fooled right now. But, and Dex is still someone that you just can't say, nah, it ain't him because you think he a red herring. Like, you still got to put him into play. But I still think it's Esme. That's my number one. And then number two, I got a, I got a new suspect, man. I got a new suspect. And I'm going to briefly talk about this um, before we get ready to get on out of here for the day. Uh, I think Elizabeth is a suspect now. And the reason why I say that is because she's been blacking out lately. So she might not even re she might not even remember when she's going around hooking people because she was definitely at that picnic. But, you know, we don't know yet. She had an alibi. When um, Brando got hooked, so got speared by the hook. So we don't know yet. Um. But she had an incident, looked like it was something connected to Jeff, where uh, a lady fell down the stairs, and uh, I think Elizabeth might have pushed her just a little bit. Um, but it was definitely something, I'm trying to figure out the statute of limitations is out on that, just in case it's a case that ever comes back up. She was uh, talking to Kevin about it, so... We'll see how that goes, but I think Elizabeth might have been blacking out, and she's a possible suspect. Like, she doesn't even know what she's doing. I, I really think y'all need to think about Elizabeth, bro, um, as a possible suspect. But my, my my number one is Esme. I think I got Nell up there somewhere, too, because I think Nell is she lurking somewhere. But Esme is definitely, because she got the serial killer vibes. Um, 
I just really think it's her. I don't think it's no one connected to the to the mob. Uh, I just don't see no one connected to the mob doing this. That's why I'm ruling out Dex too, because I just don't see anybody. I just don't see that type of work. But you don't. We don't really know anything about Dex, so that's the other thing about it too. So we'll see. This is getting so good. This is getting so good. The one person that we could definitely rule out in the entire town is Spencer because he's locked up. So uh, Spencer and then probably Ava. Ava, Brando himself. Uh, that's about it though. But go ahead and get this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments you got, definitely put it below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. The only bad thing about today's episode was that they did not show Christina and Dex at the coffee shop because it was the next day. I did want to kind of see their date, so. Um, that's kind of sad. But thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. After news, delight.